IMSA Apex 2020 in San Diego. I'm here with Tim Twining from uh, India. Great to see you here on the second day of the show. Thank you. Now, um, there's a lot going on uh, globally in the market, uh, and over the past few years, there's been a lot of uncertainty. Also, in the American market, there's a lot of uh, things that people have been concerned about, but also some great positivity coming out of the, yeah. the market over the past couple of years. Just give us an overview of your feeling towards the trends and developments. You know, I think the industry and really the world economy is getting used to more uncertainty. We've had so much uncertainty the last couple of years. This coronavirus has thrown a big wrench into our plans and what we think the market's going to do. But, you know, pre two weeks ago when that came out, we're expecting a great year. And I think the year is still going to be pretty good. You've probably seen the markets have really responded in the last couple of days. Um, so we see the global market doing really well and electronics is going to grow. Last year was pretty flat. And this year we expect a 2 to 3% growth in the industry. And then in the, in the markets that we're focused on, automotive electronics, 5G electronics, um, those things are going to grow much faster than the overall mm. electronics market. Mm. Um, so obviously all these uh, developments within the market also come with demands in terms of the solutions that you have. What sort of solutions do you offer? Yeah, so I mentioned the Hyrel. Um, also, we've got a, uh, we had a partnership with Micronic the last year, so jetting seems to be a trend in the industry. I don't think it's super high volume, but our customers are augmenting their printing lines with a jetting solution, so we've got a new product out now. And then we've added a lot of capacity and capability around the world. So we've got a new plant in India. That's a trend in the market, manufacturing of electronics in India. Um, in our Utica area, where we're from in upstate New York, we're expanding a lot. We're expanding into a new factory there, and we've got a brand new headquarters this year. Okay, so a lot of investment going on as well. So um, you, you mentioned some of those key drivers, automotive 5G, and 5G yeah. is something walking around here. Everybody's talking about at every show. Yeah. So is, is that something where you've had to adapt to the type of products that you're offering? Um, our, uh, not as much. In some of the um, high technology, RF um, amplifiers, there's some fine pitch and some power that we've had to adapt a little bit, but for the most part it's our standard mm. uh, solder-based products that mm -hmm. provide a solution. We also sell a lot of preforms and engineered mm -hmm. solders, and those get a little specialized in the 5G world. Mm -hmm. So you're essentially 5G ready? We, we think so, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, yeah. great. So looking a little bit into, into the future, where do you, do you see that uh, investment that you're doing, the growth that you're doing for your company continuing? Yeah, we see the next at least three to five years, both those industries are going to drive. And the other thing I didn't mention is uh, low temp is also a driver, especially in the in the um, consumer electronics and white goods and mm -hmm. some niche um, mainstream electronics. Mm -hmm. But we've got a new offering out for low temperature too, to reflow down to about 200 degrees. Mm -hmm. Seems to be a sweet spot for us. Mm -hmm. So the future's looking bright. Thank you very much, Tim, for your time. Yeah, thank you, Kim. Thanks.